Okay guys, I recently hit 3 million video views and I said what type of videos would you like to see me do? And believe it or not, someone said you should do cooking videos because I've been tweeting some pics of my food recently. Well, guess what? Today we're going to be making the infamous brown burger and that's what we're going to be doing. Okay, let's get our knife out and let's get ready. Okay guys, here's the ingredients for brown burgers. First of all, clean hands, so make sure you wash them. We got some minced meat, we got an onion, we got a little bit of garlic, we got some pepper, just regular pepper will do, and we got some soy sauce, okay? Two very simple items. Also a bit of lettuce, I got this pre-cut stuff, and of course your hamburger buns. Alright, now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take a bowl, a small bowl, and I'm going to put in my minced meat and for me this is going to be enough for two patties this was about 350 grams I used to up half of it yesterday and now I'm going to make my patties with that okay what are we going to do first we're going to take a little curved knife a little peeling knife it's going to be fine we're going to make we're going to take our little garlic we're going to take one of these little bits of garlic how do you clean your garlic what I always do is you take little crown there, put your knife against it, cut it off, then you can just take off the peels like that very easily and then your whole little bit of garlic is nice and clean. I'm not going to cut it with this, this is a, um, a peeling knife and that's it's curved so that would not be very good for cutting. What I am going to do though is I'm going to take my onion just take off those bits. Uh, you can, there are various ways to, to sort of gut an onion. What I always do is make a cut there and then peel off the outer bits and I can throw those out. Alright, now I'm going to take a better knife for cutting. I like a small knife like this, gives me more control. Um, let's start with a bit of garlic, cut it into small bits and while you are doing this keep your fingers curled in because if you do this you're going to cut yourself and like this the knife sort of runs runs across your fingers and you won't get cut there we go I cut that into small bits and I'm going to chop those up with another knife but I first wanted to have the basic cuts done okay then we're going to go for our onion the onion makes people cry. Remember? When you cut an onion, you cry. Well, guess what? I'm not crying. You know why I'm not crying? Because I left the crown on. As soon as you take that off, onion starts to bleed. It irritates your eyes. You start to cry. So, if you leave the little bit on there, you won't cry. It's a thing of beauty. Okay. The onion rings, of course, are going to be great in a burger. Carefully, you don't cut yourself. I'm going to go for that final bit like that. That's a little dangerous what I did, so be careful when you cut. Don't make the knife shoot into your hand. Alright, I'm going to leave my onion rings as they are. I just need to cut up um, the garlic a little bit. other knives out of the way. I want this to be nice small bits because this is going to go into my patties and I don't want to chew on chunks of garlic. Whoops. There we go. Okay. Now if you want to make this a little more fragrant what you should do is just take the edge of your knife, edge towards the cutting board, and crush it a little bit. It makes it nice and fragrant. Okay, we have done that. That means we need to make our actual patties. I'm going to put this away for just a sec. Make sure my hands are clean. And we're going to knead this just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to make that flatter. 
I'm going to take my bits of garlic and put them in there. You can also do this if you're not so confident, you can do this about half of what you've got and then knead it and then put half in again. But I make sure that my garlic is spread out nice and evenly. This is one big patty. I wipe my hands for a sec. Take your pepper. Put a nice bit in there. More kneading. A bit more pepper. Now, my final touch. Spread it out again. Take some soy sauce. That's a nice bit of flavor to it. Except when you're allergic to the stuff, obviously. Just give it a nice scoop. I don't really measure that kind of stuff. And then, again, knead it through completely so that you know the soy is everywhere. And the nice thing about the soy is that it's also going to make your patty nice and moist as opposed to dried out. Okay, now I want to make two patties. Roughly divide that in half. Don't make them too thin because then they're going to get floppy and they will crack. So I do something like this. Flatten them out a bit. That also tenderizes the meat a bit. There you go. Two patties. Now going to throw out some of the remains of the onion that I still had here. There we go. I'll wash my hands quickly. And then we have to prepare our buns. Two of these buns. This is not the greatest bread in the world. But sooner or later you're going to have to face the fact that you don't really eat a hamburger to get any healthier. Um, so I will take a plate as well as my bread knife and put my patties on there, cut them make sure that you have the bottom on the same side on both. It makes it a little easier for yourself. And take some lettuce. That's the bottom side, yes. So that at least you have the impression that you are eating something that is slightly healthy. Just put it back in the fridge. And now that this is all prepared, the time has come to start making our actual burgers. Okay, now for our frying we will be using this. It's a grilling pan, just thick iron. We're going to use a big flame. And we're going to make sure that the pan gets nice and hot, because the hotter it is, uh, the better the results are going to be in frying your burgers, or actually, I suppose I should say, grilling the burgers. You wait until the pan is nice and hot, which you can feel by holding your hand here. Clearly, don't put it on the bottom because you'll be burned, but there should be a nice bit of heat coming off. I will also activate my fan. Sorry for the noise. Try to talk a little louder here. Gonna put in some oil. This is just olive oil. Don't overdo it, that's not necessary. Make sure the oil is spread out nice and evenly. And don't lift your pan off the flame for too long because then it 
it's going to cool down too much. Okay, now you wait again a little bit. The whole bottom of the pan is now covered with this oil, and I'm waiting for it to reach the right temperature that I like. And once you put your patties in there, uh, you should hear a sizzling, and then the pan is at the right temperature. When you put them in, put them away from you, not towards you, because fat or grease or whatever you're using may splatter, in this case, oil. Well, let's see if this is the right temperature. Yep. Now, because I'm using a serious flame here and a thick iron pan, this is going to be very hot very quickly, and these patties will be done pretty quickly. So, uh, what I do is I wait for just a little bit. I have my two little flipper instruments here. I wait, I wait, I wait. See what happens a bit. Uh, don't turn them around too quickly. Give them a little bit of time to turn nice and brown on one side to be really nicely seared shut. I'm going to have a quick look. Flip them over. And if you lose a little bit of the meat, you can just gently push it back into place. Resist the temptation to push down on your burgers, because what you'll be doing by doing that is squeezing out all the juice, and you'll end up with very dry and uninteresting looking patties that taste basically just like dryness. Okay, now that I've flipped them over for the second time, I'm putting in my onion rings. Your oil may flutter a bit, so be aware of that. Don't be startled like that. Now, how long do you want your onion rings in there depends a little bit on you. Some people like their onions raw. I personally like them fairly well done, but of course not burned. This is starting to look nice and brown, but we're not nearly done yet. What is important is to keep flipping your burgers so that they will not burn on one side. As to your onions, I typically don't try to keep them in one piece. I just flip them around like this and make it easier on yourself. Just make sure they're spread out evenly so that they don't, I mean, you don't have the ones at the bottom getting burned, the ones at the top getting no heat at all. And do another turn there. That's the problem with the grilling pan, because it's so thick, uh, it will get very hot and uh, your, your food may burn relatively quickly. So make sure you flip your meat regularly to give it some time to be well done without burning. Because burnt meat clearly is not very healthy and also it just doesn't taste well. I'm pretty much giving these onions a stir fry now by keeping them in motion. You see that the burgers shrink a bit, so you can try to make them a little bit bigger than your uh, bun, so that they will fit nicely. I never really care that much about it, but some people do aesthetically. These onions are nice and soft, that's the way I like them. A little bit brown, that's great. That means I'm going to take my plate. I'm going to spread these two out evenly, flipping the burgers again. Make sure you get all the onions so that they don't burn because that gives off a bad smell too. And these patties, 
They are well done. Switch off the flame. Put them on your bun. Check out which side looks the nicest. Put that one on top. Just because it's more aesthetically pleasing. And that's your burger. Now, let me adjust the camera again a bit here. That's my apron. Those are our burgers. Now for me, a burger is not complete without a kick. So, I'm going to add a little bit of Martuk's hot pepper sauce. And uh, this stuff is no joke. It contains full pepper pits and stuff. So, don't overdo it. Take one of your flippers, spread out the pain a little. There we go. Now, there's one thing that remains. And of course, the most important part of it This is one well done burger. I don't know how well you can see this, Sorry. but the burgers themselves, nice, slightly pinkish in the middle. This was beef minced meat, which means it can be slightly medium, it doesn't have to be completely well done. You get a beautiful burger, and because it's mediumly done, uh, it's actually juicy, has a lot of flavor. The grill pan adds a nice bit of that sort of grill flavor to it. Absolutely love it. Guys, a simple meal with SB Brown starting with the Brown Burger. You like it? Let me know. I'll cook you another meal next time. Hope to see you again soon and uh, bye.